Rev up your engines. All right, the leaves are starting to fall. Cold weather's coming on. So I'm going to show you how you can keep rodents from getting into your car and damaging electronics. Now when it gets cold outside, rodents, a nice warm car, what a comfy place to come in, make a nest and live. And it happens to more than just people in the country. It happens to people in the city. It's happened to me. As you can see on my old tree here, my neighbor got a chainsaw and cut all around to kill the vines. Well, guess what happened inside the vines? Rats were living inside. These are little nest dolls. Because a few years ago, I was working in a car in a driveway here. It was a windy day, and all of a sudden I heard a thump, and this rat landed on the ground and ran away. I guess it was in its nest, and the wind blew it out. Now, it's not too cold near Houston very often. Rats and mice aren't looking for warm places to hide, like they are up north. But still, in the winter, they get in the car, they get under the hood, and they start chewing on things. And from what I've read of scientific research, the rodents like chewing on the wires because the 12 volts doesn't hurt them, but it does something to the endorphins in their brain and it turns them on. So they like chewing on all the little wires and they get a little tingly feeling inside. And of course, you don't want them messing with the wires, especially on the computer system of your car, so you want to keep them out of there. Now I guess you could get a cat and throw it in there, but I don't think the cat's going to want to be living under the hood of your car, so here's something I found years ago that works quite good. It's an ultrasonic rodent chaser. I had a leg up on most people because my old house there, crooked, it's pier and beam. Hey, there were rats that would get in the walls. We'd hear them in the winter. So years ago, I stuck 120 volt versions of these ultrasonic pest repellers inside various parts of the wall. And I know it works because we never hear them anymore, especially in the winter when it's cold behind our bed on the wall. We used to have to beat on the wall in the middle of the night. We'd hear them squeaking and rattling around. We haven't heard that in years. But little did I know, they make 12 volt versions you can stick under your car's hood. Now they emit ultrasonic sounds that rodents can hear, but we and cats and dogs can't hear. When you put in the battery, I hooked it up to a nine volt battery here, the little light comes on, but really, how do you know it's not a scam and it doesn't do anything? Well, here's how you find out. Being a mechanic, I got one of these ultrasonic sound detecting machines. Yeah, you might think, what am I doing with that? Well, it's good for finding special noises in cars when you're working on them. So I put this on, put it next to the generating machine, and as you can now hear when I put the headphones next to the microphone on the camera, it emits horrible vacillating sounds. Now the early ones only made run frequency and it turns out that the rodents got used to that one noise. But these, they keep changing the frequency and it drives them nuts and they run away. And you don't have to worry about it bothering your cats or dogs. Look, they sleep right through it. They can't hear it either. You can just put it anywhere you want under the hood. I hooked this one up to a nine volt battery and it actually lasts quite some time. But it's also set up that you can just get the positive and negative wire and hook positive to the positive battery terminal and negative to the negative battery terminal. These things use up such a small amount of power. Hooking it up to your battery isn't really going to hurt anything in a car you drive every day. It uses a really tiny amount of electricity. Now I've been using this one for years, but I only use it in the winter. So I use this little 9 volt battery because here in Houston, most of the time it's really hot. And no rodent wants to go under a hot engine on a hot day, you know. They're only going to go there when it's cold outside seeking shelter. Now over the years I've seen customers have the fuel injection wires chewed up. That can short out to the computer. I've seen a mess with the alternator wire. And it can do a lot of damage if a rat or a mouse gets in and starts chewing away. And I suppose since they're kind of getting high with endorphins chewing on it and getting that little electric thrill, they probably start chewing even harder the higher the rats get. <laughs> <laughs> now these little ultrasonic repelling devices, they cover a pretty wide area, so something this size easily will do under your car. But let's say you got an RV or something you're storing, you don't want rats and mice getting in that. They also make large ones that are for like outdoor areas, and you can get one of those and throw them in your RV. I've seen them where they run on 3C batteries and they'll run for months on that and they'll chase anything from coming inside your RV and making a mess. Now, since it's Mechanic Monday, I'm giving away one of these ultrasonic pest repellers. Have a chance to win? Just place a clean, non-offensive comment on the YouTube comments below, and a winner will be chosen randomly by computer to win a little machine that will keep rats and mice away from your vehicle and all that expensive electronics that they can destroy. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.